Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As a runner who's not getting any younger, I've become increasingly focused on my heart health. While I'm not overly concerned, I do want to make sure I'm not pushing myself too hard. That's why I was thrilled when a few years ago the Frontier X hit the market. A chest strap that promised to be so much more than just a heart rate monitor. I've been using it since day one, and today I'm excited to share my experience with this successor, the Frontier X2. The new model claims to provide even deeper insights into heart health and performance, but at a price that might give some of us a pause. In this video, I'll be putting the X2 through its paces, comparing it to the original model, and discussing who I think this device is really for. At first glance, the X2 looks almost identical to its predecessor. It's got the same comfortable size and comes with two straps. Uh, the only real design difference you'll notice is the button on the front. It's blue now instead of red. A minor change, but hey, it's something. Putting the Frontier X2 on is a breeze. It's just like any other chest strap heart rate monitor. You snap the core unit onto the strap, adjust it for a good fit, and you're ready to go. It feels really well built and it's water resistant, so it can handle whatever uh, workout you throw at it, even swimming. Now let's talk about the screen. This is where things get a little interesting. The X2 has a small screen that displays your battery life, mode status, and a post-workout summary. Sounds useful, right? Well, there's a catch. The screen is positioned on the front of your chest, making it practically impossible to read while you're actu actually exercising. And let's be real, most of us are probably going to be wearing a shirt or something over it anyway. Even if you could see it, the information displayed is pretty basic. Honestly, I think the screen is a bit of a gimmick. I'm not sure why they added it. Maybe they were trying to differentiate themselves from other heart rate monitors, but it doesn't really add much value. If anything, it might be a drain on battery life. I'd much rather see them focus on improving the battery life even, even further, and maybe adding some more advanced features uh, for the next iteration of the product. The Frontier X2 offers a few different connectivity options for tracking your workouts. Uh, the first one is the smartphone app. Uh, you can start, stop and monitor your workouts directly from your smartphone. Uh, this can also be used to get a live feed of your ECG as a separate function. Then there's the standalone mode where you can use the Frontier X2 independently of your phone and sync the data to your phone afterwards. Uh, this option is ideal for those who prefer to minimize distractions during their workouts or when it's not practical to carry your phone with you. And the final option is uh, you can use it as an external heart rate monitor. This is my favorite. Uh, the Frontier X2 can uh, be connected to, for example, your Garmin or Polar Watch, uh, Wahoo, Zwift and Peloton products. Uh, in parallel, uh, in addition to functioning as an external heart rate monitor, it uh, also captures all the extra data and saves it to its onboard memory. Uh, notably, the X2 can connect to uh, Two, uh, two third-party devices uh, in addition to the smartphone app at the same time. Uh, it's also important to note that like its predecessor, the X2 does not support N plus connectivity, but it now has Bluetooth 5.0 support, which is an improvement over the original as it allows for three times the speed and greater range. There are also faster updates for heart rate on connected devices. Battery life is excellent. On a single charge, there's enough juice for continuously recording for up to 24 hours. So that's a bit of an improvement over the first generation. For example, if you exercise every day for one hour with the chest strap, you only need to charge it once every two weeks. A full charge can be achieved in just 45 minutes. Uh, during my testing, I found that topping up the device every few days for about 20 to 30 minutes was sufficient to keep it at 100%. Uh, Charging is done via a standard micro USB cable, which is convenient for replacing if lost or damaged. Setting up uh, Frontier X2 is a breeze. Simply download the smartphone app and create an account, then pair your device. The login credentials will also grant you access to the web dashboard, which offers a more comprehensive view of your data. Attach the strap to your chest, turn it on, and the screen will display the time, a summary of your last workout, and battery and memory levels. Remember to dampen the sensors on the strap and your skin before each workout to ensure accurate, collection, accurate data collection from the start. 
It's not absolutely necessary to do this, but it does help. Uh, this is standard practice with all uh, heart rate chest straps. Now, using your phone as a display is not very practical for certain types of exercise, uh, such as running, but it can be a good option for those uh, into cycling, rowing, and uh, some other uh, types of activities. For runners, I suggest they use another option. Simply start and end the session by double pressing the button on the device itself. As mentioned, everything will be stored on the onboard memory and you can leave your phone behind. Then simply sync uh, X2 with your smartphone uh, later on. You should also take some time to, uh, to customize alerts uh, via the smartphone app. Uh, there are alerts for cardiac strain and breathing rate and you can set upper and lower limits or just leave the default values. Exceeding these thresholds during your workout triggers a double buzz notification. Uh, fourth, fourth Frontier emphasizes breathing rate uh, and considers it equally important as heart rate during exercise, a claim open to debate. But the undeniable value of heart information is where cardiac strain enters the picture. This proprietary metric, medically known as ST depression, measures oxygen deprivation in heart muscles. Consistently high values can damage heart cells and should be avoided, as they may lead to fibrosis or arrhythmias over time. Frontier X's real-time buzz alerts warn users when they cross into this unhealthy territory. Additionally, the cardiac rhythm feature uses ECG data to detect deviations, displaying a post-exercise pie chart of time spent in blue, yellow or gray uh, zones. Uh, more detail is available in 20 second interval charts flagging any suspicious uh, uh, changes. This is the type of data that you will not get from any other heart rate chest strap at least not in this easy to understand fashion. If all this sounds confusing, don't worry, it'll uh, start to make sense once you view uh, the post uh, exercise uh, statistics. As far as post-workout stats, uh, to start off you get a weekly training load based on the time spent in different breathing zones. It's like a point system and you can view a chart of your progress. Fourth Frontier claims this method of calculating training load is more precise than using heart rate or power zones, citing research to back this up. Uh, for example, breathing rate is not affected by factors such as caffeine, lack of sleep, temperature, humidity and stress, and all of these can cause distortions with heart rate based training. You can click on the history tab for a list of all your individual workouts. Tap on any of these to get more detailed metrics. And this is where it gets more exciting. Sure, you'll get the usual stuff like heart rate and calories burned, but it's the unique metrics like ECG trace, cardiac strain, cardiac rhythm, and body shock that really set Frontier X2 apart. These are the type of insights you won't find on traditional heart rate chest straps. Things such as cardiac strain and cardiac rhythm give you an assessment of your heart health during exercise. For me, there were only a few irregularities that were flagged up, nothing to worry about. The ECG trace, on the other hand, presents your activity in 20 second segments. Zoom in to pinpoint any flagged irregularities in your heart rhythm or to examine the markers you set during your workout, which appear as vertical black lines on the graph. Body shock in particular deserves a shout out. It measures the impact of each foot strike and lets you know if your form is putting undue stress on your knees or other joints. You'll see how this impact changes throughout your workout so you can catch any deterioration in your technique before it leads to injury. Uh, the app itself is a data lover's dream with detailed charts and tables. You can even compare different workouts side by side to track your progress over time. And if you triggered any alerts during your workout, they'll be waiting for you in the app along with a plain English summary of your overall performance and personalized recommendations for your next session. Beyond tracking workouts, you can also use the X2 as an ECG recorder. The special mode is trigger triggered from the smartphone app. It is where the device crosses into purely a health wearable. Current ECG devices uh, like watches and handheld units are not ideal for exercises. They require the user to be stationary and provide lower quality data uh, due to recording from the finger or wrist instead of the chest. Additionally, they only capture short ECG segments, unlike the Frontier X2, which allows for longer continuous readings. Uh, the X2 is a single lead ECG, but it more closely resembles the output from the V5 lead of a medical 12 lead ECG measurement. 
the ECG signal is sampled at 125 hertz intervals, which equates to once every 8 milliseconds, which is quite good. That, that's particularly important considering this is the metric that is used to evaluate your heart health. When you finish the recording, you can tap into a detailed evaluation of the readings. There's no way for me to confirm the actual accuracy of ECG recordings, but I do have a few other devices in my arsenal that can capture ECG, and the waveforms look very, very similar. Okay, so what are the pros of Frontier X2? Well, first you get in-depth data. ECG, cardiac strain, cardiac rhythm, and body shock are just a few of the insights you'll gain. Uh, so you get a lot more than just uh, the heart rate that you get with a typical chest strap. Uh, another pro is uh, versatility of use. You can use the device independently, you can use it uh, connected to a smartphone, or use it as an external uh, heart rate uh, chest strap for your Garmin watch, for example. Then uh, there's the, its accuracy. The heart rate data is comparable to trusted brands like Polar uh, or Garmin, which means you get accurate uh, heart rate data. Uh, workout insights. Uh, body shock analysis, for example, helps you identify potential injury risks in your form, while post-workout summaries and personalized recommendations guide your training. Then you get uh, real-time alerts. The device buzzes you uh, to warn you of excessive strain or unusual heart rhythms, uh, so you can adjust your workout intensity as needed. Uh, the X2 has long battery life. It can last up to 24 hours uh, of continuous recording on a single charge. Uh, the device has a user-friendly app and dashboard, uh, and you get the option uh, to continuously monitor your ECG for up to 24 hours. What about the cons? Well, there are a few. The main one is the price. The Frontier X2 is a premium device with a price tag to match, particularly if you compare it to a standard chest strap. Uh, this makes it a significant investment for most users. Uh, the next con is screen usability. Uh, the screen on the core unit is difficult to read during exercise uh, and may not be necessary for all users. I actually think they should do away with the screen for, for the next edition of the, the, the device. Then there's the learning curve. Uh, while generally user-friendly, it might take some time uh, for you to uh, internalize uh, all the advanced features and metrics that you get. Uh, then there's limited third-party integration. Although the X2 can connect to the multiple devices, some features like real-time display or metrics are only available on the Apple Watch. So you can't, for example, use them on a Garmin. And uh, the final con is no N plus connectivity. The device relies solely on Bluetooth for communication. Okay, so what's the bottom line? Well, the X2 isn't for everyone. If you're serious about understanding your body, training smarter, and potentially identifying underlying health issues, then the X2 is a worthy investment. Its wealth of data, unique insights, and real-time alerts provide a level of detail that few other wearables can match. While older individuals may find particular value in its features, uh, the device's appeal isn't limited by age. Anyone curious about their heart, heart's performance during workouts uh, can benefit from the detailed data and real-time feedback. Uh, this includes athletes seeking to optimize their training, individuals recovering from cardiac events or injuries, or simply those who want a more comprehensive understanding of their overall health. You'll get answers to questions such as, am I overexerting my heart and lungs? Can I push harder? The thing even tracks the impact on your joints with each foot strike, potentially preventing injuries. For those who push their limits during workouts, the assurance of staying within safe zones is invaluable. Then there's the live ECG function. It adds another dimension, valuable for those recovering for heart tissues or simply curious about their, their heart health. Ultimately, it boils down to what you're after. If heart rate tracking is all you need, a regular chest strap will do the job just fine and at a fraction of the cost. But if you're curious about other aspects of your health during exercise, the X2 goes above and beyond a simple heart rate monitor. It's not a medical device, but it packs a punch when it comes to information and insights. The X2 typically sells for around $550 on the 4th Frontier website. You can use code FFGNW25 at checkout for a 25% discount. It's also worth checking their website from time to time as they often run sales. <music>